Hi gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ara and today I'm going to be doing a quick review of the new Odin's Eye Cosmetics Solmon 2 Moon Wish Collection. I picked up the palette and one blush and one highlighter. The palette is still in stock as of today that I'm filming it. It is $32.90. Odin's Eye describes this palette as the celestial harmony of the sun and moon reflected in Swedish words, soul meaning sun and moon. Well, I don't think I pronounced that right, but I'm not Swedish. Symbolizing the serene moon. It is a continuation of the celestial theme for this one. There was a previous palette. Actually, I think this is more along the lines of like the third one that's come out so far, but both palettes for the Soul Moon 2 collection are still in stock. This one, the Moon Wish palette combines shades evocative of moonlight in the night sky, blending serene blues and radiant yellows. The palette is 15 shades. You get eight mattes and seven shimmers. It's a perfect mix for my preferences. I absolutely love split evenly down the middle, each reflecting mystical allure of Nordic mythology. The palette comes with a matching sleeve. It is vegan and cruelty free, which we love that. The shelf life on here, I can barely read it. It's in such tiny print, but I think it says 24 months. If I'm wrong, I'll put it on the screen, but I mean, I need my glasses for that and it's hard to do makeup while I'm wearing my glasses. Each shade is listed on the back of the palette here. You get 16 grams of product, which is 0.56 ounces total. It is made in China. I was captivated by the absolutely beautiful artwork here. It's a little bit deeper than the first Soul Moon 2 that I have that came out, I wanna say it was two years ago. It's just so aesthetically pleasing. I was happy with the size of this collection. I feel like the collection wasn't too large. Sometimes when a collection's too big, I'm kind of put off by that. I don't want everything in an enormous collection. I feel like this was just the right size. It came out, I wanna say a week ago. My shipping was pretty quick. Everything came packaged in bubble wrap. The blush and the highlighter are both 11 grams each and both vegan and cruelty free. However, I can't tell you how long the shelf life is because I cannot read the label on the box. It's too tiny. The packaging is so beautiful. The blush is $20.99 and the highlighter is $22.90. This video does have timestamps listed below, so if you're interested in one particular thing, skip right ahead. I'll meet you there. Otherwise, we're gonna start with my eye makeup and then I'm gonna show you the cheek products. My eyes are primed with the Kaleidos Tone Activator. I'm gonna do something a little unique for myself anyway. I haven't done this type of look in a while. I'm gonna start off with my inner corner and take the shade Star, this really beautiful yellow. I'm gonna pack this kind of as tightly as possible into that inner corner crease. And maybe I should have used a white base. I was being really lazy this week and did not wanna use my white base. The only white base I have I think I have a Danessa Myricks white base, but I have an ABH white base and I just haven't used it in so long. I'm gonna try to pack this as opaquely as I can here first, and then I'll use a fluffy brush later and go back and kind of blend it out a bit, but I wanna keep it as opaque as I possibly can right now. I'm gonna take Dark Matter on a Refer 01 brush and I'm gonna start on this outer corner first and just kind of pack it into this crease. And then from here, once I get as much of the pigment off of the brush, I'm gonna to start to diffuse it a little bit and bring it as far out as my brow bone, not brow bone, but like eyebrow. That is better. I like to have you a little bit closer because I like to watch videos of, influ well, creators being closer to the camera like to see what they're doing in greater detail. Now that I have most of that color off my brush, I'm gonna start to diffuse it a little bit more. I'm 
gonna gently bring it as far out as my eyebrow. I might even diffuse it further out a little bit later. I'm taking Lunar Eclipse on a rougher 14. I'm gonna start by packing this into the outer corner first and kind of building it into my crease because I have quite the fold right here. I really need to make sure I kind of get it in that crease. Otherwise it just kind of skips over a little bit of my fine lines. So I really try to pack it in here. I'm gonna take Lunar Eclipse on this Makeup Forever brush and very gently keep it as tight as possible to my waterline. Bring it up to the outer corner here to meet it. And I'm taking space on a small pencil brush. I'm gonna place that on the lower lash line right here, the front half. I'm not sure if I like that actually. We'll go with it for now. I'm gonna use Crater on a Refer 13 to buff out this lower lash line. I'm gonna use Crater on a big fluffy brush, like really big. And go around the edges of this purple and into that yellow. This is a Melt highlighting brush. I forget the number though. I'm going in with Dark Matter one more time. I've lost a little bit of that shade and I really don't want to lose too much of it. And now for the fun part, I'm going to use a glitter glue to create a tacky base for a wing. I'm going to do a winged liner, but I need the glue on my eye to kind of help make it pop. I've put it here on the back of my hand. I'm going to pick it up with this flat brush. Just kind of work it into the brush. I'm going to start here at the halfway point. And I'm just going to get all that glue as close to my, my eyelashes as possible. I'm not sure how well this is gonna work because this is a very flaky shade, but I'm gonna do my best. This is the shade I'm trying to use, but it is so soft. It's a little too soft. I'm struggling with it a little bit. Might need a different brush. Might really end up with a giant mess on my face. I'm gonna use that shade Moonlight and dust it over that blue that I placed on my lower lash line just to kind of create a tear effect. And I definitely do not recommend doing a blue wing with this metallic. Neptune, it's too soft and too flaky, so not really a look that I would recommend using that shadow for. Probably better if I had just used it on the entire lid. It's still pretty, just was not easy to do a wing. I'm gonna take that shade Moon on a Sigma E36 and I'm gonna gently dust it on the center of my lid. And I'm gonna gently bring this over that purple and over that yellow and just up onto the brow bone. I'm going to dust this shade onto my brow bone. Bring it to that wing. I'm just packing that shade Moon into the inner corner here. I just wanted a little extra something. And it looks, this one is just so pretty. It's adding so much beautiful detail to that yellow. I'm going to use my Juvia's Place Royal Liner in my waterline and then I'm going to clean this face off. Definitely do your eyes first. These shimmers are incredibly flaky. And I apologize for the noise my four-year-old is making. He, he's having a good time downstairs. I feel like I apologize for him way too often, but he's four. It is what it is. My makeup is nearly complete, minus my blush and highlight. So I only picked up one blush and one highlighter. I still have quite a bit from the very first collection that launched of the blushes and the highlighters, and I just did not want to add to it. The blush I picked up is 104. This is described as Solar Eclipse, a shimmer blush with golden pink hues. Won't match my eye makeup whatsoever right now. However, I love the duochrome. You can mix them together or just use one side at a time. The blushes that I do have don't look like this, so that's why I picked up this one. I figured if I'm gonna add any to my collection, it should be a little something unique. And for a highlight, I picked up 107. This is called Moon Tears. Shimmer highlight with light champagne gold and multicolored star-like sparkles. So I'm gonna put one on each cheek just so you can kind of see what they look like on their own. I kind of wish I had picked up the pink instead. I feel like the pink would probably look a whole lot better for me. 
This has an overspray to it, so it's a lot shinier in the pan or more sparkly in the pan than, I think after you take that top layer off, it should look a little more toned down, but it's a pretty bright blush. I'm just gonna kinda dip my brush in between both shades. And I'm, ooh, it is very sparkly. And I'm gonna put this very, very sparkly. Oh my goodness. So, not for the everyday. I will not be using this everyday at all or for work. But I think after I get that top layer off for sure of all that overspray shimmer, it would look a lot prettier. It might be way too sparkly even for me. I don't know how I feel about this. In hindsight, I probably would have been better off just getting one of the matte blushes. Did not expect this to have such a strong shimmer. In the promo pictures, it didn't look so heavily sparkly. It looked like a shiny, shiny, shimmery blush, but not, not as strong of a shine as all I'm getting. I feel like I'm just getting sparkle and not so much pigment, pigment from the blush. I'm gonna use Moon Tears on a highlighter brush from Danessa Myricks. This also has a strong overspray to it. Well, it matches the eye look for sure, but it just feels like blue sparkle all over my cheek. I'm gonna add that over the top of my blush. And now I'm adding that blush over the top of my highlight. My face is super sparkly. This is just not gonna be for the everyday. I probably should have watched someone else's review first. I might have just skipped entirely on the cheek products because these, well, maybe picked up just the matte blushes. These are just way too sparkly, too much glitter. This is my entire finished look. I think it turned out beautiful. Despite the fact that this is a lot of glitter all over my face, this is very beautiful. I can't help but kind of stare at it in the mirror. The lashes I'm using are the Kiss Natural Lashes in the style Gold Hoops. My lip combo is Natasha Denona. This is the Lip Crayon Peony. And the lipstick is Nabla Beyond Blurry. I love this formula, it's so soft. This is the shade Dia. I already mentioned quite a bit of my thoughts as far as the cheek products. Hindsight's 2020. if I could go back in time, I would not pick these two up. I would just get one of the matte blushes. But like I said, I already have quite a few of their blushes. There was no reason for me to add to it. These were just really pretty and even though the promo pictures made them look like they're shimmery, I just wasn't expecting it to have so much shimmer, not as much as what is on my cheeks. They're beautiful nonetheless. I think they have a place, just I don't think I'll get as much use out of them as, as I would all of my other blushes and highlighters. I love the packaging for the blush and the highlight. It's still the same as their previous launch, but very sturdy, luxurious feeling. And the embossing on the product themselves it's just really captivating. Just the, the packaging that they come in is so beautiful. I hate, well, I throw it in recycling, so I recycle as much as I possibly can, but it's pleasing to the eye, and they're more affordable than several other mainstream blushes and highlighters, so I do like that aspect, and I like looking at them. I think it's really cute. The Solomon 2 Moon Wish Palette is the star of the show for me. I think this is absolutely stunning. It's breathtaking to look at. I still think I might prefer the, the first one over this. This one is a little bit more cool tone leaning. The shimmers, I wasn't expecting Neptune and Moon to be as soft and flaky. They are really soft. I feel like I could get much more opacity out of them if I use a glimmer, like a glitter glue and then just swipe it on the lid with my finger as opposed to being creative the way I was today. This is still absolutely stunning. The shimmers are beautiful, at least the ones that I played with. The mattes, very smooth, very buttery. I haven't had a single dud from Odin's Eye ever. Most of my Odin's Eye palettes, or at least the ones for the last two years or so, maybe even three years, they've been so good. Ever since they revamped and kind of have this style of pan, this formula has been chef's kiss, top tier. I like this pink matte here. It's very toned down and cool tone. This one, what is this one called? Dark Matter. Even though it's got like the little flecks of glitter in it, it's a stunning cool tone purple shade. It is absolutely lovely. I was able to build every single shade up. I didn't have any major fallout from the mattes. It was just the shimmers. All of the makeup that I used on my face today is linked down below, just as usual. If you click on those links to make a purchase, I do earn a small commission, so thank you so very much for supporting my channel. If you've never heard of Odin's Eye before, I hope that this helped. 
These are great products. And most of the time, all of my purchases from Odin's I have never let me down. So the caveat is just the cheek products for today, but that's, that's a me problem. That is not a product from the formula is beautiful. Thank you so much for spending your day with me. I appreciate you more than you know. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it.